former uh, uh, IRS agent and teaching instructor. I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. I've been doing this, yes, this August for 50 years, 50 years. Uh, anyway, uh, many of you have come to me because you've seen me on the national news several, several times. You can see all my interviews and you can see um, my whole team of former IRS agents. I call them characters at 777irs.com and you can see all of us there, what we do and the specialties that we have. Um, you should know that uh, I do these videos for three reasons, so you don't get ripped off, so I educate you, I give you insider information from IRS, and um, I give you really good tips. Um, you know, in this industry, everyone's selling, selling, selling. The bottom line, if you want to use me, you can, but at least you're going to know some very pertinent information, and today... <laughs> The thing that bothers me the most are the companies that go ahead and, and, and they, they rip you off. I can't tell you how many calls I get, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, many, many, many calls during the year of companies who you got ripped off by. So really, what do you do? Well, these are the things you really have to do if you want to hold them accountable. You have to contact a, the Attorney General. You have to contact the uh, uh, Professional Regulation uh, Board uh, within that state that that company was. And then you want to notify the Internal Revenue Service. You can just Google how to file a complaint against an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent. You can Google that and that will pop up what you need to do. So what you do is the first thing you do is you make a formal a formal notice and demand and you send a certified letter to that company laying out the facts and what the money that you want back is. If they don't answer, I do suggest you have an attorney write a, a cover letter laying out some facts. Generally, they're going to respond to an attorney's letter because they don't want to get sued and that is going to get the most uh, the, the most action uh, right away because they don't want to give all the money back and pay attorney's fees. The most important thing you can do is you had to find, assign a, a 2848 power of attorney. The only people that can represent you is either an enrolled agent, a CPA, or an attorney. And what you really need to do is you need to file a complaint against that person. I would try to contact the person first, always contact the person first, ask that person to remedy the problem through the company if they don't follow up and make sure it's legitimate. You don't want to file claims, you don't need to, uh, then you can go ahead and report that person who signed the power of attorney and let them know what happened. So at the end of the day, usually the attorney's letter uh, works most. Uh, I would certainly go on social media and let everyone out, uh, let everyone else know what's going on with that company. These companies play a lot of games. They use different company names. All these ratings you see, many of them are bought. You see all these reviews, many of those are bought. So at the end of the day, you know, who do you really trust? Well, if you want to learn to trust someone, I would always Zoom with the person you're going to hire, whoever that is. And at the end of the day, you can get a gut. The problem is, is when you hire larger companies, you're not speaking to the person who's going to work your case. You're not speaking directly to the attorney, CPA, enrolled agent. Why do I keep bringing them up? They're the only ones that can represent you. The salesman who took your money can't represent you. So make sure you go ahead and do those things. Send a certified letter. Make sure you have your demand at that point. If they do not respond to you, uh, make sure you uh, go on social media. You let the Department of Professional Regulation know. You need to uh, let the governing board of the either attorneys or CPAs or enrolled agents know you didn't get any satisfaction. And then lastly, make sure you have an attorney write a letter. If you're serious about getting your money back, that attorney letter is going to do more, more than you can possibly imagine. I'm sorry you've been ripped off. I can't tell you how many calls I get. I'm Anyway, nothing more I can tell you. But listen, 
If this information was good, give me a subscription. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for your time.